Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It's me again, Shannon Fox here, Devoted Patriots 2 channel. And I have found a really good clip today. It's got some information in it that I thought everybody should should uh, at least hear once. If not, share it, repost it, uh, put it out there. Because um, if this is as true as it sounds to be uh, with this lady's information, uh, all these cases against Trump, especially the ones involving the 2020 election, uh, the whole insurrection and all that stuff and the contesting of the electors and the whole several charges that Trump caught behind behind that, uh, trying to uh, have Raffensperger look into the election. I know everybody knows what I'm talking about. But if um, somebody like um, Jack Smith or Christopher Ray or one of them guys at the top that was supposedly on the up and up happened to know within a shadow of a doubt that the 2020 election uh, was not run properly. We'll just put it like that. Um, and they and you could prove that. Oh, you'd have something then because then the case would fall apart immediately because there'd be, um, I guess what you call it, sculptory evidence that uh, needed to be shared. Because if you knew the 2020 election had shenanigans in it and you're trying to convict Trump on, ca on a case involving him contesting the shenanigans, wouldn't it blow the whole thing out of the water the minute somebody could prove that you knew that the um, shenanigans were real? Are you following me here, following me here folks? Uh, check out this video here and pay attention closely. Uh, this lady speaks kind of fast, like me, but um, she says, um, Jack Smith, probably a lot of other people, but Jack Smith, due to her work, do the work that she's helped put forth forward to him has put him in a situation where there's no denying that he knows as of a certain point in time, he knows exactly what happened. Uh, how this is relevant to Trump's cases. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and let, let's listen to this lady here. Um, her name is, uh, I think it's Leah hoops and, uh, Greg strength Streston. Uh, provided provided the source to Jack Smith and the Department of Justice. So there's actually several copies of this made, sent out to both of them. The lady's probably got a life insurance policy. Hopefully she does. Hopefully she sent copies of this to uh, to other people uh, for backup. And I'm glad she's getting out here and putting it on the news, putting the information out there for the truth to be told. Uh, so that's why I really want to share this with y'all folks. I don't know if this is going to fix anything between now and and November, but it is a little more damning evidence that Jack Smith knew, does know, and put on notice because he's been served with the information that proves uh, things that he is trying uh, to use as his case to to prove uh, Donald Trump's guilt. Here we go, folks. Well, we know that it's made its way to Jack Smith because we sent uh, the whistleblower. It's considered a whistleblower disclosure uh, with all of our evidence that we've accumulated since 2020 um, <clears throat> in the uh, elections in Delaware County, Pennsylvania, and also through public records requests, right to know requests, FOIA requests uh, that can prove that all uh, federal, state, and local government Law, uh, law enforcement obstructed the investigations into our information. They actually closed criminal investigations without actually talking to us, which I don't know how that's possible, but apparently you can close criminal investigations without talking to the witnesses um, and then creating your own allegations to say that we fabricated the evidence, which by the way is a felony. So we have given these disclosures to not only Jack Smith, uh, Bill Barr, the House Judiciary Committee, uh, the Attorney General, uh, the current Attorney General of Pennsylvania, which is Michelle Henry. Uh, we've given it to the District Attorney, Jack Stolzheimer. We've given it uh, to the U.S. Attorney's Office. We've given it to the Office of Inspector General of the United States. Awesome. We've given it to the Pennsylvania Office of Inspector General. And what that does is, is that it places them on notice, on lawful notice, so that they can, uh, they cannot claim plausible deniability. And that just means basically that they can't just throw their hands up in the air and say, I have no idea, idea what you're talking about. So now that Jack Smith is in possession of the information that um, is, that is inside of these disclosures about the Delaware County uh, 2020 general election and the steal of the 2020 election, 
Um, he is now in possession of what is called exculpatory, which means proving Donald Trump's innocence, uh, specifically in Pennsylvania. And what I don't find surprising is that what I read through Jack Smith's pile of absolute dog crap uh, that he filed most recently is that there's no mention of Delaware County, Pennsylvania. And he's required by law to provide that information. And if not, he's in violation of, um, it's called a Brady violation. Um, so I just want to be very specific uh, and, and give the facts. Uh, we have not been disputed. Uh, we've not been interviewed. Uh, there have been no depositions, nothing done uh, by any law enforcement agency. Uh, but yet they continue to say that they did a full investigation, which is an absolute lie. Uh, and, and actually, it's a, that's a felony in itself. Would you be willing to testify for the president? One thousand percent. <laughs> that's the best part right there. Would she be willing to testify for Donald Trump on his behalf and all these shenanigans that went on now that she has done put things into motion with paperwork, which may not go anywhere, but at least the documentation has been verified, uh, received, and now they can't get behind the old, we didn't know nothing about it. You can't do that at this point. Once you've received it, it's kind of like a subpoena. You can't back out of it. You can't unsee it. Um, hopefully, this will get some resolution going. If nothing else, uh, one more thing that Jack Smith has been exposed behind. And uh, hopefully, this will help get some of these people in the end. When Trump gets back in there in a few months, uh, not just exonerate Trump, help exonerate Trump in his legal battles, maybe get some of the cases dropped, which is best case scenario. But hopefully, Get people like Jack Smith hemmed up on some special counsel, uh, prosecutory uh, misconduct, including uh, trying to play deni uh, plausible deniability over the election that he is trying to accuse Trump of questioning, calling it criminality. We all know what's going on, folks. I thought I'd bring you all that little short video clip. I thought that was a great little nugget. For YouTube's sake, wasn't my word. I'm just playing the video. I'm going to stay out of it. Wink, wink. All right, like, subscribe, and share. Go to Patriots. Hope everybody's having a great day. Over and out.